do it, really. <laughs> Rubber band workouts. Yeah. By Nicole. Just like that. <laughs> Hi, friends. Guess what? What? Today we're gonna use one band. Yeah. And show you my favorite moves to grow your booty, Trudy. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs> you mean I can take a rubber band and grow my butt? Yes! Wow. So, friends, these are going to be my favorite moves, all using a band, an exercise band. This is a medium one. I got a pack of four of these off of Amazon for $8 and they go from easy to extra hard. So um, we're going to use the medium. If you've never used bands before, I suggest using a light band. All of these moves I do. I do all of these moves pretty much every single morning along with my stretches. Since I've been using these moves, I notice um, a lot higher, uh, my, my butt is higher and rounder. And so, I am living proof that these work. You might see on Instagram, like a lot of people, uh, a lot of girls who have really nice butts are um, using a lot of weight. They, they do like a lot of like heavy barbell uh, squats. They do like a lot of hip thrusts with heavy weight. And yes, that really does build and strengthen your glutes. However, after being super, super heavy, we did do some damage to our joints. And so if I do a heavy squat with barbell or heavy hip thrust with a lot of weight, my knees, um, will start to inflame. Also, I, I don't have a great back. I, di I did have some, I did do some damage to my back as well. So starting or working your way up with a band or just always using a band will grow your glutes just as well. And I've taken myself from almost 300 pounds. I've always had a naturally large lower half, but it was always just flabby and full of fat. Now I actually have a curvy lower half and I really use mostly body weight and bands. I don't do a lot of heavy weight stuff for my lower half. So you can grow muscle. There's more than one way to grow muscle. Basically. Yes. Here we're going to use high reps. Sometimes I do a lot of sets. We're not going to do a lot of sets here, but we are going to do a lot of reps. So let's start with the band, we're going to put the band around our ankles, just like that. Now, you're gonna use like um, a wall or a chair, or whatever, something stable. We're gonna do side leg raises here. So, in this case, I'd like you to start with three sets of 10 reps per leg so that you can start off with the right form um, because you really need to feel it in your glutes. And if you're not, doing three sets of 10 will help you slowly build it up. You can add more reps as you get stronger and get more familiar with um, activating your glutes this way. So a trick that I learned is lean a little bit into whatever it is that you're using to stabilize yourself. Turn your foot out slightly and don't lift straight to the side. Actually lean this leg, the leading leg back a little bit and turn it out toward the side a bit. If you can see, I'm, I'm going on an angle and you should really feel it here in your side butt, in your side of, side of your glutes here. And you should be focusing on lifting that leg with your glutes. You should feel your glutes starting to burn and like you're actually working the glutes. You will feel it a little bit in your thighs, your hamstrings, but you should really feel it in your glutes. And then you'll just switch and do the other leg. So start with three sets of 10 per leg. I usually do four to five sets of 20 per leg. But like I said, if you're just beginning, start with three sets. So the next one, we're gonna use 
The same thing for stabilizing, probably a chair um, or like a bench of some sort. Keep the band around your ankles. And these are kickbacks. So you want your body, your, top, your torso, to be completely parallel to the ground. You're gonna take one of your legs, you're gonna bring it in like that, and then back. So you don't wanna lock out your knees, but you want your leg fairly straight for this. And you should feel it in your glute, in the glute that, that you're using. So you wanna pull that leg up with your glute and squeeze it at the top and pause, squeeze it for like two seconds. Um, so it goes in and back and you're squeezing for two seconds at the top and then you're going back for another rep. And you're gonna switch legs. And again, until you get the hang of this, do three sets of 10 per leg and then you can up it to the four to five sets of 20 per leg once you get the hang of it. You should always feel it in your glutes. You will sometimes feel it in other parts of your legs, but you mostly wanna feel it in your glutes and you, you should be able to squeeze each side as you do it. So now we're gonna go down to the floor and I'll show you a few more of my favorite ones. Okay, so now you're gonna pull the band up to just above your knees. So you just uh, move it up. Now these are these do roll a little bit, so don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. If they flip over, you just fix it. Um, we're going to get down on the ground. You can use a mat if you like on all fours. And we're going to do some donkey kicks. We're gonna do, do four sets of 15 per leg, and again, when you get to the top, squeeze for two seconds, and then lower. You will feel these a little bit in your hamstrings, but really focus on lifting with your glute. So, start and pull, lift your, lift your leg up so that your foot is parallel to the ceiling, using your glute, to pull your leg up and squeeze and hold and repeat. And then go to your other leg and you should feel a, woo! You should feel a good squeeze in your glute at the top. Then I'm gonna show you another sort of set of kickbacks. Take your band and you're gonna put it around your feet like this and they're gonna go back down on all fours and this is another type of kickback so you're gonna take one leg and you're gonna straighten now when you straighten your leg you should be feeling it and squeezing with your glute so use your your glute and squeeze at the top and you bring your knee back in and squeeze. And it's a two second squeeze, like hold and squeeze at the top. And do four sets of 10 to 20 per leg. Um, really focus on your glutes. So probably go on the lower end of the set of the reps for now and then work your way up to 20 per leg. So now we're gonna do this is sort of like a glute bridge. I don't have a technical word or term for them, but it's kind of, I guess I call it like a modified glute bridge. And if you don't feel these burning, we're gonna do one set of 20 to 30 reps. If you don't feel these burning, then you don't have a butt. So, you're gonna lay down on your back. You're gonna pull your knees apart about about shoulder width you're gonna put your feet together and then you're gonna raise and squeeze your glutes just like you're doing a glute bridge and you should really feel a squeeze and a burn from the first rep lower raise and squeeze two seconds and lower 
squeeze and hold and lower. So 20 to 30 reps, one set, because by the last rep, your butt should be on fire. And like I said, if you don't feel it's burning, then you don't have a butt. <laughs> because those work really well. So the last one I want to show you guys is, um, clam they're called clamshells. So you're going to leave the band around your thighs, like just above your knees here. You're going to get down on one side and you're going to do one set of 30 reps per leg. What you're going to do is lay down, put your, um, brace your head with your hand, take the, the top hand and put it on your hip or um, in front of you, whatever is most comfortable. You want to put your legs straight, but keep your knees bent about 45 degrees-ish. Keep your feet together. You're going to be raising your top leg, but you're fully using your top glute to pull it open like a clamshell. You should feel it in the glute mostly. You'll feel it a little bit here, but you want to be pulling with that glute. You want it to be burning and squeezing as you pull. You're going to go one, and you should really feel it squeezing. Lower slow, squeeze it up, and adjust your legs um, if you don't feel it and try again. But you should be feeling it right here in this area when you're pulling and squeezing. And again, one set of 30 reps per side and you, your glutes should be on fire when you've done all of those. Those are my favorite moves. Like I said, I do them every morning when I do my stretches before my cardio. You can do this this routine like once or twice a week when you're just starting out and you can up it if you want, but you will notice when you start doing this, if you're feeling your glutes burning and you're really squeezing, you will definitely notice your um, glutes will start rounding out and shaping. It's fairly joint safe too. And, it, and it's pretty joint safe, especially, which is why I keep stressing, you want to feel it in your glutes. You don't want to feel a whole lot in other parts of your body. And by using your glutes, solely your glutes, you will strengthen them so that you stop using other parts of your body and risking them for injury, like your lower back, your knees, um, which is what I used to do before I learned how to really squeeze my glutes. So friends, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you want to see more of these. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, what? You gonna get this band of doom? <laughs> See you later, alligator. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Our complete weight loss guide is finally here. We put our heart and souls into it, friends. It has 40 family-friendly recipes. Not only is there a two-week full meal plan for you, there is a blueprint on how to make your own. The toning moves to prevent loose skin, to tighten up the loose skin, it's all in there. Everything you will ever need to know, you ever wanted to know about how we lost weight, it is there.